I take a multivitamin. Vitamin D is in there. That's true, but there's only 600 international units of vitamin D in a multivitamin, and that goes for prenatal vitamins as well. Now, even though 600 international units of vitamin D is the RDA, or recommended daily allowance of vitamin D, this is by far not enough for almost everyone. People need a much higher dose of vitamin D. It's about 1,000 international units per 25 pounds. A multivitamin will not give you the vitamin D level that I'm looking for or you should be looking for. I just had all my blood work done and everything came back normal. You need to know that a vitamin D test is not in a standard blood panel. You may never have had your vitamin D level tested like me. Most people have never had a vitamin D test. So even some very thorough blood panels will not have vitamin D in them. You're gonna to want to be looking for your 25 OHD level. This is a measure of the activated vitamin D that's in your body that your doctor can measure or that you can get measured with a home test or you puncture yourself and send it in. I think testing is really critically important, but just know this, that doctors do not routinely test for vitamin D. My vitamin D level was low, but my doctor fixed it with a prescription. This one's scary because that prescription for vitamin D is most likely for vitamin D2. That is the plant version of vitamin D. You want vitamin D3. Now what's even worse is after people take this prescription, they think that they're fine and their deficiency has been fixed, but you have not addressed the root cause of why you were low in the first place, avoiding the sun, wearing sunscreen, wearing clothing and working indoors. When you take a prescription for vitamin D, it can raise your level, but that 50,000 IU of vitamin D that sounds like a massive dose is really barely 7,000 international units of vitamin D a day. Now that's a good amount, but not just for three weeks or six weeks or any period. You want to raise your vitamin D level and maintain that level. The conditions that led you to be deficient in the first place have not been re removed unless you want to start sun tanning. I get a ton of sun exposure. I'm outside playing soccer. I walk my dog twice a day. I'm always in the sun. That may be true that you think you're in the sun a lot, but when you walk your dog, it could be 9 a.m. or 4 p.m. and vitamin D is probably not available during those hours. If you're playing soccer or you're outside doing other sports, that's great, but you're wearing clothing and that clothing will shield you from natural vitamin D exposure. So just being outside a lot doesn't mean that your vitamin D level is going to be good or healthy. You really need to test. If you really wanna make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D from sun exposure, you have to be really intentional. You have to expose yourself, spend time outside, and know when that window of available UVB radiation is there so that you can be effectively making vitamin D when you're outside. I eat really healthy, plus I drink juice and milk, and vitamin D's in there. This is also very dangerous. Now, there is vitamin D in milk and juice, but it's placed artificially, and it's vitamin D2, not D3. That's the plant vitamin D. And there's only a tiny amount, only 100 international units of vitamin D in both juice and milk. And that's not even close to enough. Now, for people who think they eat a healthy diet, that may be true, but there is no real good dietary source of vitamin D. It's found in fatty fish, but you'd have to eat a lot of fatty fish to get your vitamin D. Vitamin D always came from sunlight, and you wanna really understand that the diet that you're eating may even be lowering your vitamin D level. When you eat a diet that's full of processed foods, carbohydrates, and a lot of uh, vegan foods, these foods are loaded with glyphosate, and glyphosate is a toxin that will actually lower your body's ability to activate vitamin D into the form that your doctor can measure. So when it comes to diet, do not rely on the idea that you may be getting it because you eat healthy.